depending on which way you measure, right, um, your diagrams I expect will all look quite different. In fact, just as I skinned people's numbers, um, I don't think I saw a single set of numbers that were all the same. Now, quick, quick question for you, not rhetorical. Why were all the numbers different? Yeah, sure. Like so like okay, very good. So if you're looking at that corner, right, and I asked a few groups this, as you started walking, you're like, oh, I think it's about over there. But then as you got there, you're like, okay, I didn't arrive at the corner. I was actually quite far away, right? So as a consequence, if, of course, you don't need to draw this, but um, if, of course, you start somewhere, and then what you measure is actually this distance rather than the true diagonal, then clearly you're going to have a different measurement, okay? What else? What other kinds of things could account for the differences that you observed? Can you take this? Yeah, Emily. Uh, Okay, very good. So we've kind of got this perfect world where it's like, yes, of course I can walk in a straight line. Whereas as soon as pretty much you've taken your eye off where you're going, you kind of do this, and then you're like, oh no, I'm over here, and then you kind of get there eventually. Yeah. All that adds distance, doesn't it, right? The more wavy your line is, the longer that you end up walking. I can think of at least one other, there's probably more, but at least one other major thing that would cause some differences. Anyone? Yeah? <laughs> it's the trundle wheel's fault. Um, now, let's actually talk about this trundle wheel for a second. And Eliane, if you've got another different reason, I will come back to you because I want, I want some more. Um, we know how this works, right? So you, you push it along and it clicks. Okay? So that actually means something really important for us because when we're looking at error in measurement, one of the ways you could know is to look at whatever scale is on there, right? But what were you measuring? No one was measuring centimeters, were they? You're measuring per click. So what does that mean, the limit of reading, as you used it, of this is? The, the limit of reading is... Careful. The limit of reading is one meter. That's the unit. The greatest possible error is half a meter up, half a meter down. That's the unit I chose. Okay. So it's going to add things in. Um, Eliana, did you have something else you wanted to add in? I was just going to say that it's... Okay, yeah, not only did you maybe end at a, the spot you didn't mean to, you could start at a completely different point. I thought it was quite amusing, actually. It'd be really boring, I suppose, if everyone walked in exactly a straight line, but everyone was all over the place, okay? Now I'm going to add one more thing in, which was, um, uh, yeah, sorry, Rico, yeah? Um, what if there was, like, a hole, like, yeah. So, like, in the ground? Yeah, okay. So you're like, yeah, the reason I did this is because there was, like, a pothole there, okay? Yeah. Yes, all these kinds of things account for deviations in the path. So? Um, Okay, what do you mean by eyesight? Well, you kind of were looking with your eyes where you wanted to turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we, we discussed this before. <laughs> Use your eyes. Much better than your nose. Um, we discussed this before we went out, right? In that we, in theory, would like a measurement that's exactly 90 degrees off. But of course, I don't think most of us had anything even remotely close to that, right? So we did our best. We got some measurements that were still in the right ballpark, but still, there will be differences in those. Yeah, last one. When we, it was totally like, when we did that, we would like, go to the same, that way. Like, if you're walking diagonally, you've got to stop, and you go turn to the diagonal, right? Yes. And you like, go to the 50 both times. As in you repeated this measurement twice? Yeah, yep. we got the same measurement. Well, that's promising. That's good, isn't it? We want to repeat measurements, yeah? And if you get the same thing, that's confirmation. Laura, do you want to add one more thing? Yeah, maybe like if it's, this will probably result in like smaller areas, but if you started the trying to be like not on the mm. like meter, so like you started it halfway, and that would like result in like... Yeah, like very good. Area. So you guys see, I don't know how many of you paid attention to the fact that it says start down there, right? It's like either, either you never noticed that it was there, or you notice and you're like, yeah, I'm going to be super accurate. And that lasted about 20 seconds, and then you're like, eh, afterwards you sort of don't really mind, okay? And these are going to, if you start from up here, you'll get your first click before a meter is actually elapsed. Does that make sense? Okay. So here's what I want you to do now, and I want you to spend maybe five or ten minutes working with whoever was in your group to do this. We need to draw the diagrams. Yeah, we need to draw the diagrams. All we've got is the numbers right now. Okay. So I want you to pay particular attention when you have your numbers that obviously are not these exact numbers, right? But which direction do your numbers go in? Where did you actually place that measurement? And therefore, what kind of a diagram are you going to create? I'll give you a few minutes to do that. Can you have a shot? And if you feel like you do that really quick,
feel free to try and work out the area and perimeter. 